I came up with the closing story of Tom Landry is actually Superman. And it just hit me at training camp. And I used to do a lot of goofy stories back then. But it just hit me that I think Tom Landry was Superman. Finally tonight, you might not believe this, but we've finally been able to prove what we've suspected a long time. Cowboys coach Tom Landry is actually Clark Kent. And we all know Clark Kent is actually Superman. The Adventures of Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet. Think about this a minute now. Superman left the air in 59. Network canceled it. Like Tom Landry appears years. in Dallas in 1960. You're a family for us. Landry so is Superman. Wife, uh... All I want to know, sir, is how did you find out? It wasn't easy, but it adds up. We're told Tom Landry's 59. Is this the body of your average 59-year-old man? Well, I hadn't really thought that much about it, but now that you mention it, uh, you know, I've never seen him leave the building uh, by the elevator. Landry was doing an interview with, I, I believe, the New York Times, but it was some big newspaper anyway. And as all newspaper interviews are, there were about 9,000 questions. And I had to get to L.A. to catch a flight back to Dallas. So I finally interrupted him. And I said, Tom, um, I just need one shot for a story that I'm doing. Do you mind? And he goes, yeah. The newspaper guy kind of looked at me like, what a jerk I was to interrupt him. I told Landry what I wanted. He looked at me and he goes, what's this story about? I said, y you really don't want to know. And typical Landry, he did it anyway. Do you think it's possible that Tom Landry is actually Superman? It could be. I mean, uh, I've never seen a real Superman, but uh, he's got everything going for it. For the position, he's qualified. <laughs> I know that's a true fact, because I'm Lois Lane in drag. Great Caesar's ghost. Excuse me? July 83, a fire burns near the Cal Lutheran campus in Thousand Oaks. Well, there was a, a, a big grass fire burning in California, as, as there is almost every year. And right near the, the campus down in, in uh, Thousand Oaks, where the Cowboys were practicing, there was this huge fire. And it had been a big story. So I needed this final shot of Tom Landry going down the hall, loosening his tie, ducking into his office. And then I cut to Superman flying out the window. I then have him blow out this fire that I actually found from an old Superman clip. Then the fire is gone, just like that. Luckily, Superman showed up. Yeah. What happened? He flew through the flames at such speed that he literally blew them out. I know what you're saying. This is an incredible story. It's been an amazing discovery. <laughs> well, maybe not, but we have more proof. I mean, he stood for truth, justice in the American way. He, he, you know, Superman left the network in 59. Tom Landry showed up to Dallas in 1960. Superman worked for uh, Perry White, the newspaper editor. Tom Landry worked for Tex Schramm, a former newspaper man. And, and we all know that Gil Brandt was, of course, Jimmy Olsen. Goodbye, General Grant. Jimmy Olsen was extremely tight with the dollar. Did that remind you of anyone? Gil Brandt is so tight, he's got to screw his socks on. I happen to know that for sure. <laughs> when you have enough money, Herbert, you can do lots of things. Clark Kent was a newspaper man. His boss at the Daily Planet, Perry White. His boss now, Tech Schramm, used to work for a newspaper. I have a very substantive background in the newspaper business. Would you deny that you are indeed Perry White? Would I deny that I'm Perry White? No, I would dance that question. But don't call me chief. And where do you think you're going? Wait till you hear this. We all know Tom Landry works incredibly hard to make this team play better. So did Clark Kent. Yeah, but you know the old saying, all work and no play. Well, in this case, all my work may stop some pretty foul play, Jimmy. So now you know. Tom Landry is actually Superman. You need more. Isn't it true that Tom Landry fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way? And Alicia Landry, uh, Tom's wife, told me later, Tommy loved the story. Tommy loved it. I hope he did, because it was meant as a serious tribute to him. Tom Landry was Superman to me.